This video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. And welcome. We're totally not re recording this, by the way. Uh, today we're playing with Revival Reanimator. Um, it is a Bond of Revival, a Dracusith Reanimator deck, uh, where you have a basic, um, like, Demir control deck package. It's actually like a Soul Tide deck because you are playing Tamiyo. The goal is to reanimate Dracusith and immediately attack with it with Bond of Revival. So, Bond of Revival lets you keep the creature for a future turns, even though Dracusith a lot of times kills them right there and, right there and then. Um, it gains haste too, so Dracusith when it attacks can actually like mow down uh, your opponent's board, which is pretty nice. We have the Miser's Agent of Treachery to steal your girl! Cleric! Thank you for the raid, I really appreciate that! Welcome on in, raiders! Uh, the rest of it is stuff that puts stuff into the yard and helps you cycle through your cards, so like Chart of Course, Tomebound, Lich. Tamu Collector Tales is great because you can take up naming Bond Revival to get back to Cusith, and then you just have like searches, bunch of removal spells and stuff. Uh, Wrath, Cry the Cranker, and Tamu. So. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting called out by Jack because maybe we started recording this and we did two bad, so we had to restart again. <laughs> to be fair, we had. We. we Started playing the deck, did great. Started recording, did terrible. Now we're re-recording. So, Aver, oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in so long, man. How are you? It's really, really good to see you. Aver, are you going to GP Vegas? I hope I get to see you there. It's been like a lifetime since I saw you. When's the last GP I saw you at? Also, Cleric, how are you streaming today? For sure going to Vegas? Love it. Uh, okay, well, we don't have blue, but we have two Temple of My Lady, so we're gonna find some blue. Uh, I could see Discovery Dispersal for sure, Atomic, because you can easily bend the Dracusets with it. You just have, you just need stuff that you can bend with. Obviously, we got paired against Monored first round, stupid. Last GP Denver? Damn, so that's been, like, a uh, year and a half? No, less. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that on top. It's less than that, Aber, because um, the last GP Denver was during December, right? Or like, not December, like November, August, October, okay. The last GP was 2018 GP Denver, but it's like October. Got it, okay. Um, or Dadu, I'm not sure if I'm playing at GP Denver. I'm doing a bunch of uh, like promotional work for... Against Mono Red, I think instead of Temple, we just have to play Breeding Pool Tap so that we can play Woodland Cemetery, uh, Tomebound Lich next turn. Yeah, so that means that there were two GP Denvers this year. I know! I'm excited you're coming, Caroline. I'm glad you convinced uh, BK and BK to come too. I think that's gonna be a good time. Well, we drew the land anyway, so that's pretty good. And we get to Ritualist at both of these punks next turn. Uh, both are quite good actually uh what do i want to bin toto i always have a pretty big incentive to go to gp seattle because my sister lives there i just didn't this time because my parents were coming to visit like the week after and i was like i'm already gonna be um kind of tight on time with like spending time with my family but also like trying to you know get work done and stuff yeah, I think I'm in the temple. It's looking pretty awkward here. Oh, that'd be really cool, Snoopy. I'm probably gonna do a Viper meetup if you want to do something more organized. But if you ever see me like running around the site, like just feel free to stop and say hi. I love meeting people from the stream. It's like my favorite thing at events. Wait, it's your first GP like ever, Toto? Holy cow! It's gonna be so good, Mr. Slots. It's really good to see you. How are you? Welcome back. I like your little party hat. Party Welcome back with the 32 months. Alright. Um, my guess is they're probably going to try to like shock and use this to kill that. Oh, they're just going face. I see. They might take counters off of the steam kit to kill my Tomebound Lich. It does mean that I'm going to get... Um... Yeah, this is... I mean, this is not great, obviously, but... Yeah, Mr. Meds, this is a spicy reanimator. We are getting kind of like, like, <laughs> we may have lost a rank or two while playing this deck, but like, shh, no one needs to know. 
When is Seattle? It just happened, Gatekeeper, but there's probably going to be a new one, a next a English. There's probably going to be another GP Seattle next year. Wow, I can speak. Amazing. All right, just take counters off of this and just play your entire hand. Sure. They must not have something else to play because they didn't take counters off of this. It is, Jonas. It is indeed. Um, we're soups dead is a problem being at six. No, are you being for reals? Are you being for reals? Are they gonna take a counter off of this and kill me? I'm not dead somehow. All right, if we're not dead somehow, we don't have any way to gain life in the main deck, unfortunately. I kind of wish I had a Palak Worm in this list. Um, we can Tamio ticking up, looking for Bond Revival. Let us see if your <laughs> Gatekeeper is like really freaking Pika O. Uh, oh, Lich does gain life, doesn't it? Okay, I still think we're supposed to um, Bond here of Revival. Well, we got that agent of treachery in the yard. I need something to reanimate, otherwise my bond is not good. Well, there's a Dracuseth. Ooh, who's that? Dala Dala. Ooh, Aber, thanks for supporting the stream using the humble bundle. I appreciate that. We are pretty dead, anyways. But what we can do is the following: um, we can take up Tamio. Try to find another Tomebound Lich, I think is fine. Tomebound Lich. See, okay, we put another Dracusith in play. So that, now we play a Tomebound Lich. Uh, bin this Dracusith. Play another land. And then if, ne if they don't draw something, which I don't know what their hand is that they're not killing me yet. I mean, that doesn't kill me yet. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of alive. Ooh. Thanks again, Aver, for supporting the stream via the Humble Bundle. So see, now I can go Bond and Revival, bring back the Cusith, and I actually get to attack with a Lich, which is a, bi which is a big game. Okay, so let's just go attack with both. The first trigger is this one. The second one is Chain Whirler. Oh no, don't worry, Aber. Don't feel bad at all. I have it in there because it's nice when people support the stream using the Humble Bundle. Don't you worry. Uh, let's spin the Overgrown Tomb. I might get back a Bonder Revival so I can bring back a Tomebound Lich next turn. Do not apologize. Alright, there's the Bonder Revival. Okay, so obviously they could just draw, like, any lightning strike kills us here. But next turn we get the... They keep ridding my Dracusith. Wow, I can't believe how lucky we got. Unless they have, like, a shock. No, just a million Dracusiths. Okay, let's bond back. We did it! We ranked up again after ranking down from like flat one. <laughs> Amazing. Don't call it a comeback. It was a comeback. Oh, we're totally not ashamed of sponsor money. Speaking of our sponsors, have you heard of the place where you get the hottest magic singles in your area? Channelfireball.com. <laughs> I did find out that the code Gabby gives you 5% off any purchase. And... Dollar, dollar. Yeah, technically a rank up stream, which is the best kind of... Yeah, exactly, Mojo. We won one match, and that's the deck tag. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. I would like to go to GP Seattle next year. 
I really, I want to, my sister moved to Seattle and I ha actually haven't seen her place. Uh, let's, we're playing against Hallowed Fountain, so it's like not actually a huge deal to take damage, I think. Uh, depends on what they're playing. I mean, they could be like burbs, but I really doubt they're burbs. Let me try to course though. Uh, we came in number eating pool. Fit Sizzle, my day is going awesome. How's your day going so far? And hey, Daniel, welcome to the stream. See, I was weird they ride bike, bikes naked. I actually, this is this is really random, but I have seen a naked bike ride in Seattle. And then Dropbox has crashed. Why though? Um, yep, Dracusa this pretty good bin. So let's breeding pull pay to Tomebound Lich Bin Dracusith. That sounds like it would be very uncomfortable. Honestly, like, probably more for men, but also for women. It just sounds kind of uncomfortable. Why would you want to do that? Oh my god. Drawbox, can you stop? Hold on. I need to... What is your deal, Dropbox? Let me end Elgato. Oh, it's because I have After Effects open for some reason. Everything else is fine. Okay. Cool. Um, They Othakaiad my Tomebound Lich. That's too bad. Let's chart a course and see what else we can do. Meh, it's a little medium. Let's pin a Hinterland Harbor plate. An overgrown tomb. So the summer bike ride in VT was cold. <laughs> Your undergrad did a naked bike ride at the end of our semester. At Notre Dame, they also did a um, like a naked run. It, it was supposed to support. It was called the bum run. It was supposed to support some good calls, but I. It was just kind of like. It was just kind of interesting. Like I, I don't know if they actually like did that. I don't know if they helped anything. <laughs> That sounds kind of cool, slew bars. I don't think I'd participate, but I, I'd be down a hang. Uh, we're close to casting this agent of treachery from hand. So it looks like we're just playing against like normal as per control, like no creatures. This steals planeswalkers, right? Permanent. I wouldn't mind stealing a Narset. Oh, interesting. Yo, Cookie, with a one year. Cookie, thank you. Yeah, you're probably right, Molly. Because these cries and these ritual slits are just like not doing a whole lot. I might just Tamio get back, um, get back, uh, Charter Course. Uh, might also get back. Thought Erasure? That actually sounds kind of... Oh, that's true. Also, they just played a Narset. You're totally right, Tamsitra. I think I think Thought Erasure actually sounds kind of good. Uh, let's get Thought. Tamiya for a Bond. We can do that, but I actually think it might be good to just, like, uh, rip their hand a little bit here. See, like, their whole hand is dead. Let's just take Teferi. It's the only card that does anything there. I do like Land. Oh, so they're probably going to play new Narset, and then I'll steal the new Narset probs. So you got new emotes commissioned? Oh my gosh, those are so cute, Slubars. Wow, that artist is very talented. They look so cute. Is that the only one? I thought you said you got two. Yeah, Warmonger, I, I think when, when, when Teferi is gone, people will... We'll do a nice, like, uh, effigy burning for Teferi. <laughs> if they take white mana, they can't Kai's Wrath. Well, we don't really have that many creatures, even. Oh, no. They took my Tamiyo. 
Uh, probably worth it to agent that Narset. If they kill it, then I just have something in the yard to get back to with any Bonner revival I get. In the future. Like that, for example. So we act actually kind of actively want them to Kaya's Wrath. They probably won't. Yeah, because they know we just got a bond of revival, so like that doesn't actually do that much for them. Um, does Thought Erasure do anything? We take a Kaya's Wrath. It doesn't super help. We can just go to their turn. Hold on. Do you have the Dracuseth? We can just maybe go to their turn and um, Tyrant Scorn, the Agent of Treachery, back to our hand and then take Othakaya. Does that even do anything? It doesn't really. All of our cards do nothing. I guess we just attack with the Agent. I know they can't cast down the Dragon BST, but they're at 26 and they have two Kaya's Wrath. So I don't want to play this stuff out. Um, yeah, so this is a good chance for me, like, to return this to hand. Uh, maybe actually just let it die. Hold on. They have the second cast down. It's actually kind of fine if they use both of them. Like, what, what is that really gonna do? Yeah, there's, like, we could steal the Oath of Kaya, but that doesn't help. Okay, our opponent's also off it, so... Yeah, that's the weird thing, right? It's like, it seems like both of our hands just had a bunch of dead cards. So, if we bring it back and they kill it again, it's like, that seems like we are okay with it. We also were probably okay with it just letting it die. It was a weird spot. My kitty's meowing at you? Yes. My kitty's mad that I am behind on the mastery level thing than everybody else. And kitty wants to be level 2 kitty and I just have the popper kitty. Sand seems pretty okay. We need to find that Dracusith or Agent. Get a mouse over the kitty to make it happy. Much like regular kitties. What about our opponent's kitty? I want you to love me. Me. He looks made. Oh, Mr. Meds, that sounds kind of cool. I do not have a deck like that on my radar at the moment, but it does sound like something I would play. Not behind red on track with pet. I'm like one... I know, because a lot of people already have their like second level kitty, and I just have level one kitty. Oh, Toto! That's so sweet! Super so sweet! Oh, That makes me really happy. Let's pay two. Um, I think we saved the Tyrant Scorn for... Yeah. All right, here's the plan. I think we take the Viashino Pyromancer and we let them play the Runaway Steamkin. Then we Tyrant Scorn the Steamkin. And that way we take less damage because this one burns us on ETB, whereas this one doesn't. Yes. That was a really good bin. Perfect. That's so exciting, Slubars. Did you have one? Or I thought you were commissioning two emotes. I only saw the one right now. <laughs> they had two lands off the top. Alright, good beats. Good freaking beats. <laughs> that was really dumb. Alright, I want to try to not take a ton of damage here if I can help it. I think we can just scorn the v the Gitu Lava Runners so that they don't have um, basically like the cheap spell. Otherwise, next turn they get to go uh, run away Steamkin into Wizard's Lightning with all the mana that they have, like regardless of what they draw. So I think we scorn, destroy. We just like destroy it right now and play the Overgrown Tomb. And that doesn't mean we're going to have to deal with a Steamkin at some point, but at least they're they're going to have, like, a more awkward turn. That would be really cool, Snoopy, for sure. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. 
Um, they're oh GPs are oh that's right. G Germany does have weird rules about like how GPs are run there. But yeah, I will be doing a Viper meetup. If you're not part of our Discord, that's where it's going to be coordinated for show. Mm. Kind of think the thing that we take away is the charter course actually. Because I think Tamio is going to be pretty good. Um, Bond is necessary for getting that Dracuseth back. And I think Thought Erasure, if we brick on land, is going to be very good for helping us find land and take one of their burn spells away. So I think Chart's just not... It obviously would be nice if we got to do these two in the same turn, but... I don't think that it was in the cards for us. Hi, Skeleton Man! Hola! Okay, I would love to draw. Please don't have... Okay, oh, okay, we're gonna have to shock, but this is totally worth it. We go to 10. We bond the Dracusith. With tack. So we're gonna go 4 at them, 3 at Runaway Steamkin, 3 at Firebrand. God, it feels so good when you actually get to use all of them. Sinister, thank you for the two months. I really appreciate it. Is Thought Erasure going to be good after next turn, though? Um, yeah, there's a chance that... But the thing is, if we didn't draw it, a land right there, it was going to be pretty good there, I think. Maybe it was right not to do it at all, though. Hey, Nikolai, how are you? Uh, they're, they're dead. Ding dong. We got pretty lucky with uh, drawing the land that turn. Hi Zen, it's really good to see you. How are you? So after playing both Bond and Revival and Blood for Bones, which one do you like better? Um, I think Blood for Bones, I think the deck that we played with Blood for Bones was kind of sweeter because like in this deck you're all in on reanimating with Dracuseth and it's not always going to work out. Whereas the Blood for Bones deck, it feels like you could do a lot of, like, like, go for value with Blood for Bones, which I think gives you better... It gives you more flexibility, you know what I'm saying? I think they're both pretty fun, though. <laughs> that's a pretty cool emote live. Yeah, Atomic Sorcery, that's kind of what I feel, too. Like, you, you get to make... It's kind of like those, um... For like a weird comparison, it's kind of like those uh, cube decks where you have something like channel and you don't have like channel Emrakul, but rather you have channel with like medium cards and you get to do like value channel plays or like value sneak attack decks. Like those decks end up being pretty fun to play as opposed to just like immediately killing them as soon as, as, soon as you get the thing to work. Um... Yeah, I agree with that, Wolf. It's definitely very strong if you actually get to reanimate Dracuseth, but... Gosh, more Monorids? Yeah, totally, Strobe. I think both decks are, like, kind of equally bad. Like, neither of them is a tier 1 deck. Uh, I think we go Temple into, like, Island, probably. I do think Tyrant Scorn is pretty good against in this matchup. Channel with Fireball. Well... Usually in cube you don't in powered cube you don't have fireball. That's why I said I'm real cool. But yeah, if, if channel fireball would be another example of you just like kill them immediately, so it's like the game's just over. You don't really get to do that much after that. Did they break on land? No, they didn't. Hey zombie daddy, how are you? It's good to see you. Um I think I want to deny them mana in case they have any of the wizard spells in hand, so I probably just scorn. The Law Runner. This is worth it. Worse if they have Steamkin, but I think it's worth it to try to like choke them on mana, especially with Lightning Strike in hand and stuff. Wow, they chose to use Via Shino instead of using Lightning Strike. If we draw Cry of the Carnarium, that's gonna be pretty good. Hey Shanks, how are you? Oh my gosh, we have so much Dracuseth. So let's go Swamp into Tonebound Lich, bin Dracuseth, and find a. No, we need to find like a. Um, Cry of the Carnarium or Ritual Soot. I know. It's been like a whole day, Zombie Daddy. 
What's the name of the Discord? Um, our Discord? I can just link you to it here. Jonas, you are subbed, so you gotta make sure that your Discord and Twitch are linked. Otherwise, you're only gonna see the... We're obviously gonna block here. Wow, are they two for wanting themselves for this? That's great. Yeah, that, that worked out great for us. We're getting there. Okay. Um. So I think. So we definitely we have to prioritize finding a land for the fifth turn so we can bring back Dracuseth, uh with Bond. So the question is, do we chart trying to find land or do we just... I think we might just Thought Erasure and see if we can like strand something in their hand. Yeah, uh, sounds good, Jonas. Yeah, I, I always just, I feel like I repeat myself so much for that. Alright, so let's try to scry land to the top. Um, I think, given this hand, maybe light up the stage is the best thing for us to take. Uh, I don't know what he was playing, Anthony. Ooh, that's really good. Somebody else mentioned that he was playing something similar. Oh my gosh, Minith! Oh! <laughs> Holy cow! A hundred gifted subs? <sighs> yeah, that is some freaking pog. Enter's tapped. You guys, can we get a bunch of love and, and hype in chat for all of our new friends? Minith! One, two, three, thank you so, so much for the gifted subs. You the best! Look at our, all our new friends. Damn, girl! That was <laughs> a lot of gifted subs. <laughs> I know, that's so many subs. All right, let me call out the people who got gifted subs. Ooh, I'm gonna go for... I know, that's amazing. See in chat if you got one. Hold on, we do have a Dracusa then. Okay, i just checking. Let's get this back. Flying naked, man, you got one. You might not have clothes, but you definitely got a sub. Let's attack with Dracusa, send this, this, and this. All right, let me see who's in. Courtesy of Minith. I'll read this out in one second. Hey, Herb Joker, how are you? Welcome, welcome. That's true. Clothes are not mandatory most of the times. Cool, our opponent is just dead here. Ba bam. Wow, we beat Monored twice. That was legit. Dino, you got one too. Oh. Keith, you got one too! Alright, let me wrap up this video real quick. If you are watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, Reanimator. We actually like did pretty well against Monterey, which is really nice. I will make sure that this is linked in the description so you can play it if you want to. If you have been playing with this deck, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you want to see more M20 content, that's on youtube.com slash GabbySparts. Or if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash GabbySparts. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See ya! If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.